from The Beatles appearing on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1964 to One Direction appearing on X Factor. This is Iconic Moments in Music History. Good evening. I am your host, your guide, your musical museum manager. My name is Ransley Kyrene and Rep. And welcome to Iconic Moments in Music History. Right now, at this very moment, our live correspondent is live on the scene where an iconic moment in music history is happening live as we speak. What exactly this moment is has yet to be announced, but we're told that it is going to be very iconic. Until then, please enjoy, for your amusement, some of the most iconic moments to ever happen thus far in music history. Our first iconic moment of the night is the musical Oh Woe. In the year 2010, the musical artist Kesha performed the song Cannibal for the first time, and in it she sings a musical reprise of the wordless Oh Woe Oh Oh that first appeared in her single from the previous year, Tick Tock. <laughs> now, Tick Tock was originally called Musical.ly, and it has since transcended to become one of the most important social media platforms of the 21st century. But the musical Oh Oh, this technique that Kesha uses in both these songs, has a history much longer than the pop artist herself. There are many who believe that the musical Oh Oh was created by the band Imagine Dragons for their song Radioactive, but this is not true. You see, it's not even an example of the Oh Oh at all. A series of O's and woes does not an O-O make. The pitch has to wobble accordingly as well. No! The musical O-O was invented by Beyoncé, as most things were. Now, of course, the existence of a musical O-O has many wondering if such a thing could exist as a musical O-O. Could such a thing exist? Would it even be possible? No. Such a thing could not exist in this world as it is. It would be too powerful. Iconic moments. As we all well know, Dr. Doofenshmirtz created the song Platypus Controlling Me when he fell down a hill getting glue on his hands and records on his fingers and he simply could not stop. But he would if he was able, for you see there was a platypus controlling him. He was underneath the table. But what you do not know is that this platypus, Perry the platypus, was only controlling the good doctor's hands, and only then for some of the time. You see, the music was inside Dr. D all along, just as it could be inside any of you. Not everyone has the skills to become a great artist, but a great artist can come from anywhere. Take, for example, Mozart, who was born rich and forced from a young age to be the prodigy we know him as today. Wait, hold on. Hold on, I think that I think the teleprompter is on the fritz. Similar to how the robots in Daft Punk were on the fritz when they wrote Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. Haha. <laughs> um but hold on, let's 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 get the script back in order and then we'll we'll continue. Give me just a moment. Moments! Iconic moments of music! Did you know that the Johnny from the song Johnny Be Good is the same Johnny that beat the devil in a fiddle match in The Devil Went Down to Georgia? Well, in the year 1955, Marty McFly performed the song Johnny Be Good four years before its release at his parents' senior prom. This song appeared diegetically in the film Back to the Future. Diegetic, of course, being a term that means that the song could be heard by the other characters in the film, as well as to the audience, as opposed to a song that only the audience can hear playing. But how can this be possible? How can fictional characters hear songs that we ourselves are also hearing? Dark magic from beyond the world of fiction, that's how. Some fictional songs were written in-universe and only then appeared to us in the real world rather than the other way around. A few notable examples of this are I Am A Man Of Constant Sorrow from O oh Brother Where Art Thou or Toss A Coin To Your Witcher from The Witcher or Dust In The Wind from Kansas. That's right, Kansas isn't real, the band or the state. 
I'm so sorry you had to find out this way, people of Kansas. Coming up next, we go live to our field reporter to report live on a developing iconic moment as it happens. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Sam Sayer with Clever Life, your only choice in artificial intelligence development. Our company cares so much about our employees and workers here in the city of Detroit that during the coronavirus pandemic, we've made the decision to freeze all travel in and out of the city. I am trapped here. I just want to go home and they won't let me leave. So buy Clever Life, your only choice for all your artificial intelligence needs. From a cruel angel's thesis to one winged angel, this is iconic moments in music history. And I am your curator, your instructor, your philharmonic orchestra conductor. I am Ransley Kyrianin Rep. And this is iconic moments in music history. Going back to TikTok, the app, not the Kesha song, there are many other songs that have become trends on this app that have histories well beyond their trending status on TikTok itself. For example, there is a popular audio that features the lyrics from that ancient nursery rhyme, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So, do you guys remember Twinkle Twinkle Little Star being a, a TikTok trend? Because I don't remember that. I wrote this. Um, I'm editing it. I don't remember that at all. I'm just taking Ramsley's word for it. Um, now go back to pretending this is live footage, because that's the gimmick of the video. <laughs> this song has the same tune as the alphabet song, but we're getting off topic. In ancient times, there was a trend called hit or miss. This audio comes from a rap song titled Mia Khalifa, which is about the real-life person, Mia Khalifa, who did nothing wrong. Being rude to women is a common source of musical inspiration, however. Did you know, for example, that Monica Lewinsky has been name-dropped in over 150 rap songs? If you harass women, even if it is in an iconic musical moment, I will harass you here on this show. Is that what you want? Is that what you f***ing wanted? You d eating s You should have taken mercy. Iconic. As we all know, the chorus of that iconic Harry Chapman song, Cats in the Cradle, makes reference to the popular nursery rhyme. Hey diddle diddle. That nursery rhyme, of course, was originally based on an old hobbit drinking song written by one Bilbo Baggins, which was entitled The Man in the Moon Stayed Up Too Late. And because of this drinking song, sea shanties are now popular on TikTok. An exciting development. Sea shanties, as we all know, are songs used by pirates, sailors, and the like to keep rhythm as they row, row, row their boats gently down to sea. They are characterized by their driving rhythm and lyrics such as heave ho and such. The Willerman is not a sea shanty. It is a ballad, dang it. It's a very good ballad. But not every song about the sea is a shanty. Just because I sing a song while drinking doesn't make it a drinking song. But I told my therapist I would stop drinking and gatekeeping. So you know what? Wellerman, you can be a sea shanty if you want to. Fine. I suppose there are no rules anymore, but fine. Iconic moments. For our final moment, we go live to a musical moment that is developing live as we speak. Ransley, are you on the scene? I'm here, Ransley. Ransley, can you tell us what we are looking at? Well, Ransley, as you can see, I'm standing here in front of the famous Crab Shack studio where Ludwig van Beethoven once recorded all of the hottest singles of 1792. And Ransley, what is happening at that studio now? Ariana Grande is inside there, recording what she claims will be the very first musical ewoo. 
Not a musical oo-woo. She can't. Such a thing would be too powerful. It, it, it would kill us all. It shall kill us all in an angelic sound wave that shall reverberate and echo into the farthest reaches of the out realms. And I shall be the first to hear it. Blessed, ascended, shiny, and triple platinum. <laughs> from rap to rock, from EDM to OST, from lo-fi to Mr. Worldwide, this is Iconic Moments in Music History. And I have been Ransley Kyrianin in rep. And I will see you soon for more Iconic Moments. Good night, sweet children. Sleep tight. Hey, Sam Sale here again. Remember to subscribe to Schmook for more weird content. And uh, go to their Patreon and their Twitters and whatever other links are in the description. Um, and subscribe to Fedra. He helped write this video too, I guess.